limit on such on something that is supposed to be done. It's mm -hmm. true that the minister in one way or another might not have been doing the right thing too as well because there's a natural from a natural phenomenon we can only have noticed that some of those uh, kind of funny funny things. But I think it took his uh, wife doing his job do it ah, in, the pro in the proper way. Presently, when the minister demands to Samuel to pay the four billion, is it four billion? Is money? Is it his money? No, that's the issue. That I said here that. But why now? We have not even we have not even started. We have not even gone for the World Cup. We have not even gone. Matter. If there's something, is something lacking. The minister is supposed to call the attention to that. So it's very, it's a normal thing. But just the issue is that it's questionable because it's something that there's a lot of conflict between both of them. Est-ce que cette décision ne va pas un peu fragiliser l'équipe nationale avant même d'arriver au Qatar? Parce que on voit ici cet argent a été débloqué pour la préparation au Qatar. Or, oh, le, 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 les, les lions ne sont même pas encore partis au Qatar que le ministre demande déjà le remboursement de l'argent. Est-ce que ça va pas fragiliser les joueurs? Okay, that's what I said. I said at the beginning that I never got their message. Well, if the, the issue is that the, the money was meant to go for to go to prepare for the World Cup, it means that is, that's where there's a problem. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's where there's a problem. I, I think that if anything that has to do with World Cup should come, the, the rapport should come after the World Cup. We must have gone to a, from the World, for the World Cup and come back. And not before we go for the World Cup. It will, it will, it will, it will, one way or the other, it will make things to, not to go well. I think so. I think Et maybe it's time for the minister to look at the Une autre question, Amado Tante. Est-ce que cet argent, c'est l'argent du ministre ou c'est l'argent du Camerounais? No, the issue is that it is the moment of Cameroonian and that the other minister is representing that Cameroon in that context. Mm. When it comes so to what, what does he need the money for he's, now? He has need this money now to do what? Because it's the question that poses this morning the journal. That's why we don't know. We don't know. So maybe if we had more detailed information with regard to the issue, we might have had idea of whatsoever the minister may be, might be asking the money. So we cannot just like start condemning the minister for asking the money now because we don't know the reason behind it. No. C'est justement la question pour laquelle la question qui est posée ce matin. Pourquoi est-ce que le gouvernement, le ministre veut cet argent maintenant Quel est le projet qui est sur la table présentement où il a urgentement besoin de ces 4 milliards yeah, That's what the question we're asking. Now. The issue I said here that the problem now is that there might be another burning issue more important than what we are thinking on yeah. our head, but we don't know. What is it? Are they building a, st a stadia <laughs> or are they building stadia now that they need the money? What, are they, what do they need the money for? Look, I keep saying that they should keep their egoistic whatsoever aside, their personal problems aside and work for the interests of Cameroonian. That's the major problem. We are, we are, Cameroon is all above all of us, all those ministers and the directors of the food president and all the rest. So Cameroon is more greater than all of them. And we shall all go and leave Cameroon and come one day. Okay. okay. Uh, Madhu Tante, and last time we, we, when we, we were on this platform, I asked you if you go to church. You said, no, you don't go to church. We are coming back again to talk church issues. This time around, we are talking about the Presbyterian Church again. <coughs> Uh, a pastor was serving at uh, PC Basa congregation here in Douala was flung to the floor by his Christians over financial issues. Still Presbyterian again. What is happening in our churches? Look at the images that we have. It. The, the funny thing is I don't understand if those Presbyterian, these Presbyterian churches are, they don't have hierarchy, maybe at the regional or the national level, because normally this kind of things, when there's a problem within the church, they are supposed to address them within, within the, the Presbyterian church. But why why, would, Christian, to why, would, embarrass why or, would Christians embarrass, embarrass their pastor? Embarrass their pastor like, is really unacceptable, because you cannot be claiming to be a genuine person, you are to, to real, a good person, and you go about harassing or humiliating uh, the, 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 the leader of your church. Because no reasonable Christian or no real Christian can pense, go about to humiliate a pastor as such à l'église presbytérienne, le pasteur est vraiment le leader dans, dans l'église. Dans une church, dans la church, je pense que le pasteur est en train de travailler, c'est vrai qu'il travaille avec d'autres autres personnes. Mais quand il y a un conflit, le conflit doit être adressé internement, peut-être avec les autres personnes qui sont là. Mais si les choses ne marchent pas, ils doivent être adressés à leur hiérarchie, pour s'assurer qu'ils regardent à ce matter. Mais pas en prenant les lois dans leurs mains, en allant ensuite pour humilier le monde comme ça. Parce qu'effectivement, cette vidéo, elle est, elle est quand même euh, mauvaise. Et on voit que Christian 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 does it mean that the Christians of Presbyterian Church have more powers than their pastors? No, the reality is that in every association or every other thing, uh, maybe a country or a church or whatever, maybe the glad, power belongs to the people. Those members of the church are the pastor. <laughs> you are a pastor. <laughs> maybe yeah. you know some of these things. What no. is actually, when you look at this, it's a clear sign that mm. probably the Christians have more powers 
No, in church, level, I think in church, a level of the church or a level of the country, the people have more power than the leader. Than the leader. No, so, say, the say, say, the problem is that we have been to understand in the country like Cameroon, in our context here, that is that when you are a leader, you have your superpower. You can do set everything because you are there because of the people. If, normally, if the people say that they don't want you to be, you will not be there. No, the, the people are not the one posting the. The pastors. No, because when, when you see the members of the church harassing the pastor, as so you say that people are not the one in the way. So they are the one doing all those sorts of things. The problem is that they are using the wrong method to do the thing. C'est so. l'administration de l'église, yeah. de l'église presbytérienne, qui voudrait que le pasteur n'ait pas euh, n'ait pas la position de super chef. Mm -hmm. Donc dans cette dans leur administration, mm -hmm. euh, si la c'est le peuple en fait. Qui est, qui est le grand boss yes. et, et le pasteur est juste là pour, pour, enseigner, pour enseigner et il est aussi nommé par une autre hiérarchie